Hey everybody, Clayton here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Hollywood Racks Destination Two Bike Platform Rack on our 2021 Kia Seltos. Today we're using it on an inch and a quarter hitch, but this rack also works with two inch hitches, so if you have another vehicle, this rack is probably going to work for it. We are going to have three points of contact securing our bike to the rack. We are going to have one on the frame, so I would not recommend this for carbon frame bikes, but it is going to be good for your metal frame bikes. We're going to have two, one on each wheel, and this one here in the middle of our frame. So that's going to be nice and secure. You're not going to have to worry about it moving back here on the rack. Taking our bike off is going to be pretty easy. We're going to start at our wheels. We're going to remove our wheel straps. To do that, we're just going to push in on this button and pull out on that strap. Now for our frame, our strap is going to be right back here. You do want to make sure to hold on to your bike whenever you're doing this, but we're going to push down on that and pull out on that strap. Then we're good to lift our bike off. Now the bike is pretty close to your car, so you just want to be careful whenever you're taking this off. Whenever you have your bikes off here, you want to make sure to fasten your straps back into their desired locations. That way they're not flopping around when you're going down the road. And then you want to rotate the center section down. To do that, we're going to have a wing nut here. We're just going to loosen that up and we can get this support brace off. We'll just rotate this down. That whole center section is going to rotate down as well. But what I like to do is I like to take this outer wheel strap, run it around there and just tighten that down so it's not bouncing around on us. And we can get a few measurements for you to help you understand where this is going to sit on the back of your vehicle. Our closest point of contact is going to be about three inches. Then our overall distance is going to be about 22 and a half. To tilt our rack up into the storage position, we want to remove this pin on the back side. Then we're going to unthread this guy. With that off, we can just rotate our rack up and then reinstall this bolt. One thing I do like is it is going to be tethered to our rack, so we're not going to have to worry about losing that. And then our closest point of contact, which is going to be this strap here, is going to be right around an inch. Then our overall added distance is going to be about nine inches. Now one thing I do like about this is that our shank actually comes up. So that's going to give us a little bit more ground clearance. So right here at the back, we're sitting at about 15 inches. And down here at the shank, we're sitting at about 10 and a half inches. We are going to have an included threaded locking pin, so that's going to help protect our investment. And we also have some reflectors on the end of our rack to make sure that we're seen whenever we're going down the roadway. All in all, I really do like this bike rack. I like how tight it stays to our vehicle. Some of those other bike racks tend to stick out pretty far, and that can become a hassle whenever you're trying to park. That's pretty much going to do it for our look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2-Bike Platform Rack on our 2021 Kia Seltos.